Astronomers have just confirmed an exciting new interstellar object entering our solar system. Its name is 3i Atlas and it's only the third time in recorded history we've seen something like this. What makes this object so exciting is that it's not a typical comet from the outer edges of our very own solar system like the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud and it's not an asteroid from the main belt between Mars and Jupiter on a strange orbit. This object came from far beyond, most likely from another star system altogether. In this video we'll explore what this object is, how it was discovered, its trajectory through our solar system and how it relates to the only two interstellar visitors we've ever detected before this one. You might remember them as Umwamwa and Borisov. We can now add 3i Atlas to that extraordinary list. I'm Guido Uylemans and you are watching Guido's Astroform. Object 3i Atlas was detected just recently by the Atlas Planetary Defense System, which is a network of telescopes designed to scan the skies for potentially hazardous near-Earth objects. It appeared as a fast-moving dot, which caught the attention of astronomers. 3i Atlas is traveling at an incredible speed of about 68 kilometers per second. That's roughly 244,000 kilometers per hour or 152,000 miles per hour. It's moving so fast that it's not gravitationally bound to the sun. It's just passing through. To put that into perspective, the International Space Station orbits Earth at around 7.6 km per second or 27,600 km per hour, completing a full orbit every 90 minutes. By comparison, Atlas is moving about 9 times faster than the ISS. Even though 3i Atlas is incredibly fast for a natural object, it's not faster than the fastest thing we've ever launched. That title belongs to NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which during its close passes around the Sun reached speeds of 191 km per second. That's almost 3 times faster than 3i Atlas. At this speed, the trajectory of 3i Atlas is what's known as hyperbolic, meaning it's on a one-time path through the solar system, never to return again. That's the defining feature of an interstellar object and that's what makes it so different from all the other asteroids and comets that are bound to our solar system. 3i Atlas is not the first interstellar object to visit our solar system. The first interstellar object we've ever detected was Oumuamua, discovered in 2017. It had a long cigar-like shape, was tumbling through space and behaved unlike any comet or asteroid we've seen before. Most puzzling was that it slightly sped up as it left the Sun, but without showing any visible gas or tail, which comets usually have when they do that. Some scientists think it might have been a chunk of nitrogen ice from a surface of a distant Pluto-like world. Others suggest it was made of hydrogen-rich ice that evaporated too gently to be observed by our telescopes. While some theories even proposed it could be artificial, like an alien probe, the scientific consensus is that it was a natural object, just one that didn't fit neatly into any known category. Then in 2019 came 2i Borisov, which was a more conventional comet-like object with a visible tail. It was the first confirmed interstellar comet and far easier to study than Oumuamua. Unlike the first two, 3i Atlas was discovered with significant lead time. Its projected path shows it will reach its closest point to the Sun around late October and its closest approach to Earth will be on December 19th when it will be approximately 270 million kilometers away. That's almost twice the distance between Earth and the Sun or roughly the distance from the Sun to Mars. That's far, but not too far for high-powered observatories or even backyard telescopes to photograph and study this object. And the key difference is that because we found it early, we have months to track and observe this rare interstellar visitor. Based on current tracking, 3i Atlas is in the constellation Sagittarius and it will be moving towards Gemini where it will exit our solar system. 
Astronomers are already using ground and space-based telescopes to gather as much data as possible. At first detection, the object had an observed magnitude of 18, so you'll definitely need a telescope and take long exposure photos with a camera to be able to detect this object in the night sky. Let's talk about its size. Umwamwa was extremely small, less than 100 meters in length. Orisov was a bit larger, around half a kilometer wide. By comparison, 3i Atlas is big. It's estimated to be somewhere between 5 and 20 kilometers in diameter. That's comparable to the size of Mars's two moons, with Phobos measuring 22 kilometers and Deimos about 12 kilometers across. It's a significant jump in scale compared to the first two interstellar objects. So what about its characteristics? On July 2nd, 2025, Astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu, using the Nordic Optical Telescope, detected a diffuse tail on 3i Atlas. A diffuse tail indicates that the object is releasing gas and dust as it heats up near the Sun. And that's a hallmark behavior of a comet. That same night, a separate team observing from Tide Observatory's Twin Telescope also detected cometary activity, including a tail stretching at least 25,000 kilometers, or about 16,000 miles long. That's pretty typical behavior for an active comet. Additional observations from Fox Telescope North revealed that the comet's coma, that's the glowing cloud of dust and gas around the nucleus, has a reddish hue very similar to what was seen in the previous interstellar visitor to I. Borisov. The reddish glow could indicate organic rich dust, including molecules like tholins. These are the kinds of compounds scientists believe may have played a role in the origin of life on Earth. The fact that we're seeing similar chemistry in a comet from another star system hints that the raw ingredients for life might be far more common in the universe than we once thought. Interestingly, astronomers haven't been able to determine how fast 3i Atlas is rotating. The brightness seems to stay almost constant, which could mean that the thick dust coma is actually obscuring the rotating nucleus or core of the comet, hiding its spin from view. What makes this so valuable for researchers is the observation window. Mwamba was out of reach within weeks. Borisov gave us a few months. But 3i Atlas will stick around in our solar system for nearly a full year, giving us plenty of time to study a truly foreign object in real time. And since this is an object that likely formed in a completely different star system, that alone makes it scientifically priceless. So what can this alien visitor teach us? Potentially a great deal. Its glowing coma and active tail suggest it's releasing complex organic material, perhaps the same kind of carbon-rich dust we've seen in comets from our very own solar system. If that's confirmed, it would be strong evidence that the building blocks of life are not unique to Earth, but may be widespread throughout the galaxy. It raises big questions. Could materials like this have helped seed life here? And if so, might it be doing the same on planets orbiting distant stars? But the reverse is just as exciting. What if 3i Atlas contains something entirely different? Materials or chemistry we've never encountered before. That would mean we're looking at a fragment of a solar system that formed under completely different conditions. It would expand our understanding of how comets and planets form and suggest there could be many more paths towards star system formation and life than we currently know. And the timing couldn't be better. Just a few years ago we might have missed this object altogether. But now, with an increasingly connected global network of sky surveys, automated detection systems and telescopes around the world sharing data, we're not only finding more of these interstellar visitors, we're catching them early enough to study them in great detail. 3i Atlas is a rare gift. A chance to directly compare our solar system objects to an interstellar visitor. Whether it turns out to be familiar or truly alien, it brings us one step closer to understanding how common or how rare life's ingredients really are. And with that, we inch closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Is there life out there or are we alone? 
I'm Bido Uylewald, Clear Skies.